It looks gross, it sounds gross. This is not how I saw my day going. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Hi, my name's Tom, and today I'm gonna to be adding to my repertoire of poorly made food items, and today it is gonna be a recipe that I've been aware of for a long time. You may or may not be aware of this certain category of recipes and food items that were prevalent in the 1970s and the 1980s. I actually found this particular recipe on a BuzzFeed article named 21 Truly Upsetting Vintage Recipes. Liver sausage is essentially pate, like liver pate in the shape of a sausage. That is kind of mixed in with a bunch of other stuff, and then you mold it into the shape of a pineapple and put a real pineapple hat on top. And you have something that resembles a pineapple, but tastes like liver. What more could you want? It looks gross, it sounds gross, basically everything about it is gross, and I can't wait to make it. Let's go. All right, so first things first, we're going to need a bowl and some water. Some measuring um, utensils, I suppose? Mayonnaise, because what gross recipe is complete without it? We need some gelatin. And lastly, for this part, we need some turmeric. Now I know what you're gonna say, turmeric. Tom, you're saying turmeric wrong. It's like how you say raspberry wrong. I think language is open to interpretation and I hope you agree with me. The reason I call it turmeric is because to me, that looks like it spells the word turmeric. Would you not agree? whatever. We are gonna be making the outer layer of the pineapple. This is the bit that's gonna look yellow and like gelatinous and really kind of like be the, the outer setting. So I need to make it and then chill it in the fridge. We need eight leaves of gelatin. Isn't gelatin so weird? Like, look at that. Pick a card, any card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That seems like a lot, don't you think? Now I need to add two tablespoons of water. This is a teaspoon measure, and according to my schematics, a tablespoon is three teaspoons. So let's do that. We're a tablespoon in, folks. Six, beautiful. The recipe calls for me to heat it over a boiling pan of water. I obviously don't have that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna microwave this until it's completely melted and I'll come right back. So now we have to add a cup of mayonnaise to the gelatin. Oh, I don't know what this is about. I don't know like why they felt it necessary. Like, oh, hey, mayonnaise is already gross and gelatinous. You know, let's like, oh! Uh, and now we're gonna add that to the gelatin. Oh man. When I do any kind of video, you know, I try and be open-minded and not judgmental because at the end of the day, someone came up with this and I don't want to be rude about their recipe. But at the same time, like, it's, it's a little rogue so far, I'll say that. I watched a video on YouTube and they used turmeric to color their what they called frosting from white to yellow. So if we just add a indiscriminate amount <laughs> of turmeric, Wow, is that what turmeric smells like? It's very like grassy. Okay, I'd say that looks pretty yellow. Oh. Ugh. Sorry, it's like oily. Okay. So that's step one complete. Can you believe it? Um, you can see it's already pretty like solid, which is grim. So I'm gonna go put this in the fridge to set up uh, so I can use it later on as the icing. So BRB. So this step now is making the actual core of the liver sausage pineapple, which is essentially just like a pate mixture. First things first, we'll start off with the most important bit, which is the liver sausage. Oh, there we go. Oh my God, this is not how I saw my day going. It's, it's, it, feel, it feels bad. It feels kind of bad. The next step is I need to mash this up so it's in less, um, so it's less like this. I'd say this is about, probably about as mashed up as it's gonna get. What I'm gonna do now is add some lemon juice. I need to add a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. So I'm gonna mix that in. It's like lemony corned beef. Uh, and then we need to add a teaspoon of Worcester sauce because obviously. And then it goes, lovely. Now we need to add a quarter cup of mayonnaise. If you don't like mayo, this recipe is really probably not for you. And to be honest, even if you do like mayo, this recipe is probably still not for you. <laughs> Feel free to talk amongst yourselves whilst I get this to the consistency I'm gonna need it to be. Uh, what does this remind me of? Looking at it, um, it kind of looks like a brain. Like, okay, yes, it's gross, but we've all seen worse things. This has gone the best it's gonna go. So I'm gonna go pop this in the fridge for a bit and prepare for step three. So, the main contingents of the liver sausage pineapple are now ready, made, and chilling in the fridge. So in the meantime, I'm gonna cut the decorations, as it were, for this culinary delight. Those things are pimento stuffed olives and a literal pineapple. <laughs> Ironically, the one part of the pineapple you can't eat. So I'm gonna cut off the lid like so. 
fabulous. We need to get some pimento stuffed olives and basically cut them like lengthways, like this. And the idea is these are gonna be studded all around the edge of the pineapple. Also, whilst we're here, does anyone know what pimento actually is? Because I don't. I've never seen a pimento in the wild. All right, so now that I have my appendages ready, I'm gonna go get the hopefully slightly more set ingredients and um, let's build ourselves a pineapple. So, inverted jar, this is gonna be the basis of the shape. And what we're literally gonna do is this. Now, I've never done anything like this before in my life, but you know what? This is working better than I thought it would. I thought it would fall off, I thought it wouldn't stick. We actually seem okay so far, thank God. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm very good at this. Ah, it's on my shorts. I deserve that. I totally deserve that. Next step is to apply the lid. Yeah. So now we're gonna apply the topping, the icings, whatever you wanna call it, I suppose. We'll see if this actually goes on and spreads. I mean, I'm definitely getting somewhere with it. Like once I've covered the whole thing, I'll kind of smooth it all out and hopefully we'll have something that's workable. Like I really want it to be good. I at least want to have like executed it correctly. Okay, it's kind of slipped off the top here. That's fine. That's okay. Cause you know what we're not doing? We're not panicking. We're staying calm. We're enjoying our 1970s food journey. God, we are nearly there guys, nearly there. So I'm nervous that she's kind of slumping down. So where it still looks good, I'm gonna say this side, we're gonna apply the olives the hardest bit by far and away was getting this jelly bit on because it just has a lot of weight and it like solidifies really quickly. Like, don't get me wrong. I never thought it was gonna look fantastic, but this definitely looks a lot better than I thought it was going to. Like, I honestly think this is not bad. Like, I think if you saw it, you get it that it's supposed to be a pineapple. The, sort of, the visual inference is there. It's very like, don't talk to me or my son ever again. And now we are going to garnish it to make it look as beautiful on the outside as it is on the inside. Add a bit of parsley here, maybe a bit there. Add some crackers for comic effect. You can tell I'm disoriented, it's been a, oh my God. Hours later and 50 years in the making, here it is, the liver sausage pineapple. I feel so proud. Obviously it's disgusting, like I get that. And the only thing left to do is to taste it. So here we go. <sighs> Where should I go from? Should I go from the, from the top or? Oh I, oh, I really don't want it, it's disgusting. Uh, mm -hmm. It's the way it moves. Okay, I'm gonna go for like a thicker bit on the bottom. Here we go, bit of parsley. Okay, well, bottoms up. It's actually all right. It kind of just tastes like watered down pate, if that makes any sense. Like. Don't get me wrong, the texture is a bit off. It's not my favorite thing, but I've definitely eaten much worse stuff. So this was truly an experience. Um, it's definitely one of those things when you're eating it that it's mind over matter. But at the same time, when you're making it, it's definitely style over substance. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment below of any other gross recipes that I should try. And until next time, see you later.